Good evening, everybody, and what an interesting prospect we have ahead of us today. As I'll switch to the live broadcast, we will see. We're at Suzuka for today, uh, for round 11, the penultimate round of this AF1 season. Qualifying is just getting underway, as you can see by some of the cars going around the grid, going around the track, and look at the view we've got from here. Metal bars. Anyway, <laughs> let's get us let's get us started uh, with qualifying. I'll explain what the hell is going on soon enough once I get everything to work properly. If I can just get my there we go. It is the big day for Jens Batesma. Currently leading the championship by 15 points. And this is, this is the point where I'll bring up the fancy graphic we have. Hopefully it still works. Is it still going to work? It does work. There we are. Drivers' Championship there. You can see Jens has a 15-point lead over Colin Backer. Those two are the main two in the fight today. Andre De Noy is also here. He can throw a span on the works, potentially, but he also has some points to drop, whereas Batesma does not. As such, Backer will stand to lose 11 points today and 11 points next week at the finale in Montreal, which means Batesma only needs to lead the championship by more than 16 points. It can be 16 if uh, Backer doesn't win today. That's as simple as it gets. 16 point lead is all that's needed for Jens to take the title today at Suzuka. You can see he's on his first flying lap now, going round the Dunlop curve. I'll try my best to keep updated with the scores as, they, as we go through today's race, but I can't promise anything. <laughs> I, as I, will, I will try my best. Yes, it's already spun on his at the, at the Essen of Degna 2. Hopefully that won't uh, cost him any confidence. As has been the case of the last couple of races, I am on double duty today. I'm doing race control and the stream. So in the event of a virtual safety car, which to be fair, this is Suzuka. We saw the AF4 race. It's possible we will. Uh, you'll get to hear what the other drivers have to say. And uh, let's face it, it's not going to be happy if we bring out the VSC. Like, well, what the hell have we brought the VSC out for? Uh. <laughs> but it'd be a great insight into what goes on behind the scenes here at Assetto Friends. Uh, that is the wrong thing. I just need to find... Yeah, it needs to be in the waste control screen. Still get myself set up with everything. Cause there's, so, there's so many gadgets and bits and pieces to sort out. But we are underway. With 11 minutes to go, no one has set an actual time yet, which is... Well, no one's set a, a decent lap time yet. Jens is the only one. He was the first out of the pit lane uh, to finish a fly, uh, to finish an out lap, so he gets a 2 minutes oh one. But two times at the top, two times now, three times. Domingo, Nesh, and we also have Andrade, who has set a 149.2. Back goes with a 146.5. We're looking for around the times... I think the times are about a 144, I believe. Uh, 44, maybe even 43s. But we are at 96% grip. Time still to find. Backer, Rubber 9, Denoya, the top three at the minute. Denoya, uh, uh, Rubber 9 has been seriously impressing me uh, over the last few races. He, he, he only joined in Bahrain for, for his first race. He's been, this is his third race. And he's done a stunning job so far, in my opinion. He just needs to convert that into a result. Let's run aboard with Jens Betzma as he goes for, hopefully, a first complete flying lap over the line. Slightly downhill towards the first corner and through to the first sector of the S's section. Dive through while also braking to line up turn two perfectly. Take a late apex to get straightened out as soon as possible. Use a little bit of curve on exit. Bring it to the right and then swing to the left through the first of the S's. Try not to, try not to swing the car too much or you'll just lose it on the oversteer through the next part. Through the anti-banked corner. Now pull it for the Dunlop curve. Use a bit of an entry apex if you can. Maybe exit apex as well. Hold it to the left. Prepare to dive through Degna 1. I'm told the inside curve there is evil. Don't touch it. Through Degna 2. 
clean so far. Stay right for 180 out at the top of the hill. Use all the X to try and straighten out as, as early as possible. Through what I believe is called 200R. And you can predict predict with channel points. I, I didn't realise we did. We could do that. Is that a thing? Is that us doing that? Thank you, Virtual Walkup, for following. There's a little special something I want to bring up later, but I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll um, wait for a few more people to join. Thank you to. Thank you to Inject for Inject <laughs> for subscribing. Wow, we now have a new remote apparently. I'm told on my Streamlabs. Jens around the final corner. I missed the second half of the lap, but he comes across the line to do a 145.5. That's seven tenths faster at the top. Excellent. Trying to get too caught up on the exit curve through turn one because it will absolutely destroy turn two. Who else we got on track that's doing well at the minute? Let's have a look at Lantern. He's whoa! There goes Jens. Here's Lantern. He's coming around the final couple of corners. It's looking like it's going to be a one forty nine point two at the minute. Apparently, purple's the first and third sector. I'm not particularly sure. About how that works. Who will beat? Who will beat other one? Four hundred and twenty points. Uh, I, I don't know which way it ran it is, but I'm guessing that's four hundred twenty to to Yentz. Four hundred thirty. There it is. Four hundred and thirty to Backer. Ooh, interesting, interesting. I'm liking this. I've never seen this before. Pole position gets one point today. It's all important, especially towards the championship. It's, it's a little point the backer would really need. If Batesburg can get it, that means he just needs to get more points than backer. If backer stay, or, or keep backer out of the top five. Lantern has a little spin there and goes into the wall. We'll be seeing things just like that all race. Little tiny incidents, little crashes that cause a little bit of havoc in this race. Can I do that or is it? That to get rid of the Discord overlay. I need to get rid of the Discord overlay. Shift that. No, I need to get rid of the Discord overlay. It's in my way now. There we go. That is better. Jake Feimster. He's had his moments during this season. Some really good moments. Uh, thank you to six of you who are watching. I'm guessing we're, we're quite low because of Christmas. But thank you to the six of you who are joined anyway. Oh, it closes in two minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I would have thought it lasted a bit longer, but it's looking like it's going to be a... It looks like back is going to be Denoy, apparently. I'm guessing Betsme isn't even in the race here. It looks like a good first sector for Fimes to apparently. We'll see how if that continues. We've got Costa coming out the final corner, so I'll just switch to him. He's currently on a 155.5, but he's coming around the final corner. Right to the edge of the exit, right to the edge. 49.5 moves into P11 and in the field. Good lap. Let's have a look how it looks through 130R. Easy flat, and they can say to the inside as well. I think that's because of the, uh, you can see the camber on the inside. It just switches and just holds it to the inside. The downforce on these cars is excellent. Looking good so far on this lap. Bates must stop again. It's not enough. He's two tenths down on Batesman. Is backer. Uh, Batesman has stopped at, I believe, Dunlop curve again. He's gone back to the pits. The two C and J racing cars. It is rubber nine. Going on forty six point six third place in the standings. Beauty goes to P four with a forty six point nine. That's a good. That's a good time from him today. Five minutes left in the session. Down the back straight. I'm going to ignore the purple sectors in the first one. The second sector looks good, though. Maybe. I don't know whether to trust it. But he's going to come around 
130 yard Dinoy goes to P3 with a 46.6. He's still got some catching up to do. There's a car over there. It's a dead bull racing car. That is uh, Cano, who's stuck at the final chicane. The, the uh, Casio Triangle. And Rubber 9 will go over the line. Doesn't improve. 46.7. Next, Roman Nesh, round the final corner. Denoya has crashed, coming towards the anti-banked corner. Domingo stopped as well at Degna 2. As this is a mistake-prone track. Yeah, Robin I, Robin I has had a meteoric rise through, through the ranks in Assetto Friends. I think he finished third. Did he finish third in Le Mans in the in the GT4 class a couple of weeks ago? Something like that. Andrade has stopped on the exit of Dunlop. Uh, Dunlop curve. Three minutes left in this session. Beauty is going to come around the final corner. Currently on a 46.9. Is he going to improve? He does. He goes another tenth faster but stays P5. Beauty instantly teleports to the pits and comes back out again. Kind of defeats the op defeats the purpose. Lantern is a bit stuck at Degna One. He's going to have Denoya coming past and maybe even Garcia coming through soon. And he's blocked the whole track. He's clear now. He's got a bit of time to get out, but he's got to get out quickly before Jens comes around because Jens is on a lap. He's on a blind. You can see it. You can see from the body language. He's pushing like crazy. Right on board. Absolutely. The prediction is closed, uh, by the way. It was uh, base, uh, no, Backer versus Denoya, and Backer uh, finished on top. I'll get rid of the live championship for now, but I'll bring it back a little bit later on. Through the spoon curve, Nash improves to P7. Gutierrez is P8 now. Dropping down the hill onto the back straight. It does look so glib. I forgot I need to turn I need to turn my audio off actually. Better? To be fair, it's, it's, I think it is quite cloudy on this. Um, like the weather's been set to cloudy for today. Looks so cautious. He's going to go again. He clearly wasn't fast enough in that first lap. But he's only got one more shot left. Here we go, Jens is on one now. 46.5 we did on that lap, so that wasn't too bad, but it still wasn't, wouldn't have been enough. But he's got a lot of competition from Backer. Backer is currently coming towards 130R, he's going to give him another shot too. Let's go for Batesma on his off board, let's hope he gets as well. Nesh has crashed, you can see him there, that's on the exit of turn 2, and he's actually left the server. Hopefully everything is okay with his setup. Backer, let's have a look at him, he's coming around the final corner. It says six tenths up. He's coming back in the man. That's good. Does improve, but only by about two hundredths of a second. He stays P2. He's going to have to push like hell if he wants this pole position. He needs this. He needs this for hope at the title. To keep his title hopes alive. Denoya has crashed at Degna 2. That's the end of his qualifying. He'll be P3 at best. Deals is going to come next over the line. He stays P8. Andrade's gone off. You just saw him there coming uh, into turn four. Denoy is currently slow at 180R. Up the, up the hill goes Colin Backer. Batesma, meanwhile, is coming towards Spoon Curve. Let's have a look at Batesma. Eight and a half seconds. I'm not going to... I'm just going to ignore that. Oh, frame rate. Frame rate. Oh, my frame rate's dying. We will see Batesma's time first. Eight tenths up on something. I don't know what that time is. I'm guessing it's based on the first time. Uh, the race today is... I forget how long it is. I think it's 40-something, isn't it? Uh, 40. 40 exactly. For, exactly 40 laps. Round the final corner comes Jens Betzma. Is it going to be enough to make an improvement on pole? 45-5 at the minute. Does improve by 4 tenths. 45-1. I keep hearing a sound that sounds really awesome. But now we look... To Colin Backer. He's got to find six tenths of a second if he wants to get the th take that pole position. We've finally got the graphics working correctly. He's three tenths down in the first and two tenths up in the second. So he's down one tenth. He needs to find seven tenths of this final sector. Final chicane now. Everything you got. Uh, everything you got, Colin. Beauty goes to P3 with a stunning lap. 
I think that's Beauty's highest position all year. It's an improvement, but not enough. A 45-3. Batesman will be on pole unless the last couple of drivers have anything to say about it. Uh, only a couple of drivers left. One of them is Deals. He hasn't actually set... Oh, it's P9. Sorry, P9 with a 48.1. He's slower than pole, but he has. It does look like he's made an improvement in the first two sectors. Round the final corner comes Deals, or Matt Smith, as he, been, as he has been known throughout the season. Does improve, but stays P9. Uh, I believe we still have Andrade coming over the line. No, he's going to take the... the, the, that's, the that's the west pit lane. That's the wrong pit lane, uh, Ruben. Uh, Miguel Costa, I believe, has the chance to improve. No, he's spun as well. Uh, rubber 9. He's on a roll. Oh, congratulations, uh, Walker, for winning 1,100 uh, points, I think. Wow. Walker and four others for, for guessing correctly that Backer would beat Denoya. I have no idea how that, wo how that works. Did someone else set that up? I didn't set that up. Round the final corner comes Rubber 9. Currently on a 46.6. He's going to improve from that. No, he doesn't. He's run out of time to do so. So, it is Jens Batesmer that takes pole position. I shall fill that in on my board to say that. He moves to 1459. He has the 16 points now that he needs to win this title. But the question is... Well, there's still 26 points left to give out. More so to Jens. Minus 11 for Colin, because he's got the drop score. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay. I'm back, and I have a proposition for you guys. If... <laughs> do, do predict with the... Uh, 2,800... By the way, 2,800 points... 3,000 points to say no first lap VSC, 200 say yes. I'm liking this. I like this feature. We should have this more often. Uh, but my proposition is as follows. If we can get, uh, let's say, ooh, yeah, 10. If we can get 10 new followers by the end of this stream, in the stewards meeting tomorrow... I will eat beans on camera. You, you, I, I'm serious. I will eat beans on camera with toast. Probably cheese as well, actually. Yeah, I'll do cheese as well. But that's my choice. <laughs> if we get 10 new followers. I feel like I'm going to regret this. No, beans with cheese is amazing and it is the best thing ever. You are the only person who thinks that crap. I can guarantee that. So let's remind ourselves of the grid for today. Let's bring up the driver names. Jens Batesma is on pole alongside his teammate Colin Backer, as it has been for a few, quite a few races this season. Martin Beauty starts an excellent P3 alongside Andrea De Noia. Row 3, Roman 9 and Diego Dom. Uh, or Domingo, I'll call him Domingo from now. Roman Nesh starts P7, yes. And then Juan Manuel Gutierrez who starts P8 with an excellent time. Uh, Deal starts 9th alongside Miguel Costa in 10th. Row, uh, row 6, Ruben Andrade and Benjamin Garcia. Row 7, Jack Lantern and Jake Feimster. And at the back of the grid is Cano. 15 drivers starting today's race. We go in 100 seconds time for 40 laps. Both tyre compounds must be used, which is where I bring up my fancy tyre screen date graphic. Here it is. The red striped option tyres and the white striped prime tyres. We should be expecting another one-stop race, maybe, two, maybe a few two-stops. Uh, Denoya has just left the server, it seems. That could be him out of the championship. 
Well, he's, he was pretty much out of the championship anyway, but what? Well, we are one minute away from the start of this race. Denoya is coming back. Hopefully, he rejoins in his grid slot. We'll keep you posted on that. Let's go have a look. Say hello to this guy. Or these guys, the twins. I'll be in the race control booth. Ready for the start of this race. 40 seconds away. Perfect framing. I'm good at this. Batesma versus Backer, as it has been for quite a few times this season. And away we go. 20 seconds from the start. We have a restart session in progress. So let's just get an update. Yes. Am I restarting the session? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah restart. Restart. Okay, okay, okay. Doesn't that reset grip? No, no, no. Right. Let's lash guards and then restart. Guards, that was your colleague. And... That didn't yeah, work. Would've... Okay, the I button didn't work. Hold on. Um, maybe it's because someone's joining. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to join. Oh, this is solid. is this yeah, not the real start or is the real start? This is not the no, real start. No, it is not the real. It's not the real. It's not the real start. All right, everybody, don't press... crash each other. Hold on. Um, what should I do? <laughs> keep uh, parade lap. Come, <laughs> come back and stop in your box. <laughs> practice, practice your virtual safety cars. Practice your virtual safety cars. Done. Thank you. Alright, three more minutes. Sorry, to guys. Down. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't no worry problem. About okay. You're oh, in, you're, right? You're here now. Did you get in? Yeah, yeah. Why do, yeah, I, have yeah. For, why do I have to have a three minute waiting period? Two is fine, but anyway. Uh, right, I'm gonna yeah, but, I'm because gonna it gives somebody now. time to get out and come back in. Josh, yeah. go back to the stream. I'm going to bug off now. Bye bye. Muted. We're alone again. And I see you undressed yourself. Anyway. <clears throat> We are the most professional league. Bungle off, Vasic. <laughs> we are. We do an excellent job, but we're friendly. And we're down to earth. Look how amazing our races are. <clears throat> um, yeah, we, we are two and a half minutes from the start. Again, now that we have everybody actually here this time. Uh, we had a false start because uh, Denoya left, so he very nicely decided to restart the race. So he's rejoined in, in fourth place. Just there in the Palace racing car. Don't do not do this to me. Has Beauty gone back to the pits? Beauty's back in the pits, so hopefully he comes back in time. And you got time. Yeah, you got time. Two minutes. Okay, Beauty's, Beauty's playing with fire. Who else is going to bugger off and come back within two minutes? Beauty's coming back. Beauty's coming back. Here we go. A P3 start for beauty. To lose that would be painful. Truly painful. Can we keep it nice in the chat? Thank you. What's that thing? Predicted no. Okay. 90 seconds away. There's beauty on the start. I'm not good at stalling. On the stream. I'm really good at stalling in real life. Uh, thank you to the 15 of us, 15 of you, that have decided to um, watch this waiting. Let's take a look at some people. Let's go have a look at some people. This guy's on his phone. They look happy. This phone. She looks angry. <laughs> so I just went through some guy's face. He looks like he's hiding something. Just like, like he shouldn't have been here. He's taking a taking a day off work for this. Again, angry. Why are they all looking at me? Stop looking at me. You'll get copyrighted if you upload that. 20 seconds from the start. Let's go from the weather vane this time. Beauty's still not here. Where's Beauty? Come on, Beauty. Here come the lights. I feel so bad for Beauty. But we are 
underway at Suzuka for the wheelway start. Jens gets away well, I assume. I thought I'd switch to him. Here we go. We're all clean into turn one so far. Let's switch to further back in the field. It's still clean. Looking good. Someone's getting some channel points for, for the answer. No, so far. Baseman's got exactly the lead he needed to get. If he beats Backer, it's game over. Through towards Degna 1 and the, the other Degna for the first time. Deal. Andrade right on the back of Deals. Matt Smith. It's right on board. All clean. And there's the first crash. No, it's not even a crash. It's a couple of people going wide at a couple of corners. Super, super clean to start off this race. It's exactly what we like to see. But I think he just got bonked. Andrade just got bonked by Costa. Costa's round. Garcia's round. We've got a couple more other drivers round. Yep. Attention all teams. This is race control. Virtual safety car will be deployed in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. VSC deployed. VSC deployed. Jens, please do 80. Everyone else can do 120 until they catch the lead pack. From the stream point of view, congratulations to the people who guessed yes on first lap VSC. Woo. <laughs> uh, there's a crash at 180R. Involving what? Four, involving four, the, the hairpin. The hairpin after the diagnosis. Oh, right. Hair not not 130 r we're not yet there yeah i was gonna say yeah i was gonna say i'm there i said, I said, I said 180 r 180 r fucking japanese can we not get banned please <laughs> uh, my monitor off i can't see oh no oh deals uh oh you're oh, going no, to <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, I'm so sorry. Oh, I violated the overtake rule. Oh no. You can take your pay spot back if you're getting back on. Yeah, you can go ahead of me. Ahead of me, deals. I did press the button this time, unlike just keep, just keep you, you don't have to give any more places back. No more places back. 10 seconds to the end of the VSC. 10 seconds. Go in. Not, don't close up. Deals, you don't need to take any more. Please do not overtake any more positions. Go, 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 green flag, green flag, green flag. It's not in the regulations. If you lose your position, you lose your position. Sorry. Okay, all right. Did that mute? Yeah, it did mute. We're back in the way at, uh, yeah, we're back in the way at Suzuka. Uh, as you saw, their deals went off at 130R and just went, pfft, yeet, gone. But he, but he's re uh, recovered. He's still in the pack. That's what the VSC's for, but he wasn't the cause of it. Uh, so yeah, Batesman got perfectly away from the VSC and leads back up by over a second already. Cano has gone off at uh, at turn four. Garcia is at the back of the field as well. Maybe they were together. Who knows? Uh, yes, Car Garcia and Cano came together, I can see on my incident board. Under the bridge on lap two. Cost has gone off. He's crashed seemingly on his own at the first Degna. Here comes the up-and-comer, Rubber 9, on the back of Denoyer. Another prediction started. Thank you for the singular bit, Bright. The singular bit, shall. More predictions coming up. Uh, another one for... Oh, no, this is how it's going to be. Another VSC in first five laps. Ten bits says yes at the minute. I hope not. We're looking for a clean race here. But I wouldn't mind a couple of crashes. We've seen a couple already. Garcia has done fine today. Garcia caught up very quickly uh, up to the back of the field. Maybe he's done more practice than normal. Maybe he maybe he finds a had a spin. We don't know. But on to lap three. Batesma. The DOS is now enabled. The singular zone today on the front straight. Only on the front straight. Just like real F1. Rubber 9 has. Uh, it's going to be... I think illegal DOS use for deals and Roman Nesh, which is interesting. Uh, Roman 9 is right there. Fastest lap for Garcia. Good for him. Stream crash fully. Okay, it's just, it's just for... Just for... Um, 
just for you, Polybius. Thank God for that. Don't scare me like that. Garcia's looking really, uh, really racy today. He's got some real pace on the back of Matt Smith Thiels, who's probably got some damage, to be fair. Uh, and so may, and so might Lantern. He might look for moving to Degna 1. They're all very close going to Degna 1. You don't want to be too close. Wide goes Lantern up ahead. He stays. He stays all good. Cost has gone off again. He's gone off on his own. He's gone off at Degna 2. Deal's got a good run out of 180R. He's going to try a run round the outside of Lantern, which means he'll have the inside for Spoon Curve. If he can stay there, Costa's out. Oh, Deal's backed off really early. Garcia goes for the move. That was some excellent reflexes from, from Benjamin Garcia. Deal's right up on the gearbox. But down the hill we go once again. Meanwhile, Nesh and Domingo in the battle for P5. Domingo almost uh, turned in, but uh, Nesh's wheel was still there, so he had to back out. A great battle for, for P5. Yeah, not a good day for Beauty. I feel so, so bad for Beauty. He had a P3 on the grid. Uh, Costa spun a lot, so he, he, he left. That's basically the short way of putting it. Love and I. Lantern's coming into the pits for the first time. I'm guessing he's maybe damaged. Unless he's trying a crazy strategy that uh, hasn't been seen before. For whatever reason. Let's see how we do with the Drivers' Championship thing. If I can get that to work properly without missing some things. I have a cat trying to burst down my door. Thank you again for the other for another bit. <coughs> oh dear. So currently Jens is in the lead. Colin Backer is second. Neuer is third. Uh, Lowy doesn't start and Dirty doesn't start. So we can take a look at the championship standings uh, at the minute. And it's disappeared. Excellent. Wonderful. Full screen that instead. There we go. Jens currently will have a 32-point uh, lead in the championship. Chicken power. What's, I don't know. What's chicken power to horsepower? I don't know the horsepower either, but, you know. Where's redacted to counter? Field starting to spread out. Already, we're only five laps in. Andrade chasing down Gutierrez for P7. Lot of Lewis Lanterns come out of the pits just behind Cano. So let's look at the battles of P12. Nowhere near anything and makes no effect on anything at all. Maybe the Constructors' Championship. Lantern down the inside takes the position from Cano. Nice, simple move. Little game freeze there, but we're all good. Diego Domingo driving a Team Speedo car that doesn't have any drivers driving for it. So I thought I saw Gutierrez there having a little, having a little mistake, which is why Andrade's right up to the back of him. It was about a second, it's now three tenths. But it's looking like the, other, the, the prediction for another VSC in the first five laps is a no. So whoever voted no is going to take that one. Oh, everything you got out of the out of spoon for Andrade. That's about as much curb as you can take. Garcia has gone off. Uh, he's spun it in the middle of 200R. That's the long corner coming up to spoon curve. Another singular bit. 
for Charles Bertrand. Down the inside goes Andrade. And it's Senna versus Prost all over again. Gutierrez decides to take the old version of the chicane. And Andrade takes the position, but you probably they should probably give Andrade should probably give that position back. Prediction result is a no. Who takes who takes the point? 884 bits going to Virtual War Cup and four other people. Uh, congratulations to them for yeah. Great. <laughs> Good job, guys. You got bits. Woo. Nine in his quest for his first podium. He's still on the back of the noise. It looks really strong through 180R. We got 180R that's the hairpin here. They're followed by 200R, and then 130R is, you know, 130R is 130R. A six-man pilot would be great, but we'd need to do a lot of talking on Monday to discuss it. I don't know what I don't know which way I want it. Down the back straight once again. Let's get out of the crowd. Good evening, G750. How you doing? And of course, good evening to the other 22 people. Plus G750 who are watching. Thank you very much. Don't, you should watch AF Asia. You should, watch, you should watch all of our races. They're amazing. We've got some really good races going on. AF4 in particular uh, is the stream to watch. It's the race. Rubber down the inside going, at, going towards turn one. With the DRS wide open and takes the position. Goes maybe a little bit wide through turn one. Takes P3. This is going to be a battle all the way long, I think, for that third place. It's going to be great. It's going to be the, I think it's going to be one of the only things we watch. That and this in the battle for P7. Andrade and Gutierrez. Juan, who you saw, or some people saw this morning... Uh, streaming for AF Asia. Uh, congratulations to whatever sixteen twenty four again on his AF Asia title, the first AF Asia champion. Let's update the standings as Denoy goes down to P four. There we go. This is 184 at the minute for Jens, 152 for Colin Backer. Here comes another prediction, what we got this time. Because I don't set these up. Oh yeah, Rubber Nice thought they committed a mass. We just killed so many people in our meme race the other day. The other day. Will Wan get in front of Andrade? I guess that's before lap uh, before lap ten. That's not a lot of time to do that. There's only uh, two laps or three laps. He's looking close. We can get a good exit out of one out of the uh, out of the final chicane. There's a shot into turn one. Here comes the onboard. You can see the slipstream closing, closing, closing ever faster. He's going to look. He is going to look. He's going to pull to the inside. He's going to be really close through turn one. And he's made the move stick already. Yeah, I guess the prediction system is betting with channel points. Um, the answer currently is yes, but if he can stay that... Oh no, yes, yes. He, get, he, got, the, he got the move done before lap 10, so that's a yes on that. Uh, and congratulations to the 390 points. For, for the 390 points that go to uh, Arda, Danny, and three other people for getting that correct. <clears throat> yeah, Fassi, good job with that one. Good job with it with that with that vote.
let's check in on the battle for, for the podium. Uh, Baseman currently has a 3.3 second lead over Colin Backer. And rubber nine uh, is still third, but he's got Denoyer chasing him down. Jake Feimster has gone off. Uh, I'll bring you that now. Feimster went off. Coming towards the end of 200R. And Robin Nesh is the first into the pits as Lantern goes off. That's way off. That 180R is going to be lucky. He's going to be very lucky to not get beached in the gravel there. So he's in the first pit stop for Roman Nesh. Do you think he's got I think he's going for a one-stop strategy. Uh, speaking of which, let's have a look quickly at the current tyres that everybody is on. Top half options, bottom half primes. Top five on options, everyone else on primes except for Garcia, Lantern, uh, who are all on the option tyres. I'm guessing Nesh started on the options. He's switched to the prime tyres now and might be enough to go to the end. I think one-stops uh, one stops are possible in these cars. Uh, definitely for this track, I think, if you pit lap nine, 30 laps in these is possible. I think Andrea De Neuer has gone off. Yeah, I think he's had a spin at 180R. Maybe they came together because I think Rubber 9 slowed down for him. Yes, there was a crash. There was a crash between the two. Uh, but uh, Rubber 9 with his excellent sportsmanship uh, just staying. Just waiting for him, which is nice. It's nice to see. It's exactly what we want to see. In fact, apparently that's two stops now for Nesh, but that's a lie. Uh, so let's just switch back to the uh, intervals. Let's, let's, let's have a look at the progress. I haven't, seen, I haven't looked at this graphic much yet. We see four up for Andrade. Excellent rise for him. And three for Garcia. And now four for Feimster, who's just passed Roman Nesh. Uh, obviously, Nesh has pitted, so that's why he's down four. Now, uh, Kano started well, but that's because people behind have gone off. This battle will continue to rage. As soon as another person comes out the pits, I oh, know Romanesh came in, uh, came in for a second time. Another prediction has started. That's already taking off with over four, with over four thousand uh, channel points. Voted will Rubber end lap ten in front of Dinoya? The answer is yes, according to the poll. The gap is one point two seconds between the two of them, so it's looking pretty strong for that now. We'll keep an eye on them as this as this lap keeps going. I've moved in really close now. So you can hear everything in my voice, even when I whisper. Look how Robert takes that corner. Oh, we had a bit of back end sliding. There's a lot of channel points going into this. 8,000. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, just a little bit of ASMR. It's a good way to save my voice for, for such a long stream. Thank you to all 25 of you for watching this. Uh, I like doing I like doing ASMR every, every now and then. Hold on, let me try this. <laughs> I'll just crush, crush a couple of crisps in front of me, in front of you. Rubber nine into the bits for the first time. So the answer is no. Oh wait, what is the answer? We may never know the answer. Who's who's ahead? I think it's technically Dunoya. Yes, Denoyer ended that lap 10 ahead of Rubber because Rubber's box is earlier than Denoyer's was. Oh, Denoyer's missed his box, he's had to reverse! Oh no, it's not working! Is his, is his box working? I think he's going to have to try again. I hope we've got another lap of fuel in him. Disaster for Andrea! Andrade's right up the arse of Gutierrez. That sounded wrong. 
De Degna 2 next. De Noya ended lap 10 in front of Rubber because Rubber's box was earlier than De Noya's. It's the whole Schumacher getting a drive through at Silverstone in 98 thing. Indeed, the prediction result, prediction result says no! Who gets the points? 8,300 points. That's the wrong answer. Oh yeah, 8,300 go to Alboita. And only Alboita. Awesome job. Wow. Way to have no faith. <laughs> Andrade down the back straight there's no DOS here so it's going to be really close going through 130R is he going to look he's looked left towards for a move into the final chicane he tries it he's going to have to try for the switch back if that's even possible out of a chicane but he's going to have the DOS once again down the front straight it's going to be an easy move into turn one you'd think Gutierrez trying to stay right in the middle Andrade goes for the outside line. Just look at this to make sure there's no mistakes. There aren't any. Oh, a little bit wide though. So Gutierrez will stay in tow for the next lap. Let's update the current standings. Let's update the current um, predictions, even though it will have barely any difference on what happens in the championship. I've just turned my brake bias down. <laughs> oh, stunning. But there we go. Denoya now down to 137. Yeah, I changed my config of my keyboard uh, a while ago. Because I bought a keypad. This is before I got my new wheel with more buttons on. I, I, I bought an extra keypad to do things to make adjustments on. Will Andrade end lap 15 in front of Juan? Thank you, Proton, for subscribing. I'll count that as a follow, so that is also 1 out of 10. I will mind now there's more people here. Uh, I said just before the race started, um, if... Hold on, let me think about this for a second. If we get 10 follows or subscribes... Like if, if it's like 8 followers and 2 subscribers, that counts. As long as it's 10 followers and subscribers combined, by the end of this stream, in tomorrow's Race Stewards stream, which will be here at 2pm GMT on Monday, I will eat beans live on camera. So I, I did know that. I did know that, Ben. I did know you, you were... <laughs> I did know you, that was you. Uh, deals into the pits for the first time. And he's going to come out on... Boop! Up, uh, primes. So one stop seems to be the strategy today. He's going to come out right just about ahead of... Is that Denoyer? I'm confused. That was Denoyer, so... was. Okay, so deals must, be, deals must be a lap down. Okay. Yes, it does involve a webcam. I, I, I'll be completely clear. Whoa, way, way wide goes Andrade. There's still time to make that prediction back in the minute. It will be points to those saying no. I will focus on the road, but I'm still... I'm, I'm looking at both. I can look at both today. Betzma into the pits for the first time. Back has been through the pits as well because he's come out behind uh, Diego Domingo. Good he is. Just about staying ahead through 130R. Andrade was trying for a move, but didn't quite make it. Are either of them going to stop on this lap? No, neither of them are. Down the front straight once again. Domingo's into the pits as well. Pulls to the outside again. Does Andrade round the outside just like Raikkonen? Mwah! Beautiful. 
Andrade starts lap 14 in third place. Cano's had a spin, and it was more than a spin. It's not a spin. He's he's beached it in the wall. He's out. We've got, he's teleported to the pits, but he, he's woo nasty. There's been a crash. There's been a crash. Denoy has gone off. Denoy is way off at turn one. What happened there? I've seen nothing about a crash. Is Denoy a spit? Is Denoy a beached? Denoy is beached. He's teleported to the pits. He's out. Unless he can get going again, he will be out of this race. That's a huge blow to Palace in their hopes to maintain their position in the drivers, in, in the constructors championship. Championship. But as it stands, that will be. Whoopsie Daisy, that didn't work. Uh, fifteen. Yeah, I know that's less. So it's, uh, maybe it's not less. So we one thirty six. I needed to change. I need to change something on this. Hold on. You can't see anything. You can't see anything. Does that break it? Oh, he is dropping sauce. That's fine. But there we go. I fixed it. <laughs> there we go. No luck on Denoya yet. We're on lap 15 now, so this is crucial for that prediction. Gutierrez versus Andrade on the prediction. Uh, Denoya is out of this race. Spun off at turn one. Beached in the gravel. Beached in the grass as well at the exit. In the barriers. And that is the end of Andrea De Noya's race. That's awful. Redacted is here. Great. The Bitwalker continue. Redacted. Uh, uh, Bertrand has been, let's say, spamming um, bits. Just singular bits for a while. You're losing in the bit war. Go. Give us money. <clears throat> I mean... Please. This is going to be really close, and it's going to be key for that prediction. Who's going to get those? Who's going to get those channel points? Down the back straight. Andrade needs to finish this lap ahead to win the prediction. No, you are ahead. Okay, but that's just ahead. Okay, fair enough. He's going to make the move. Surely he's going to make the move into, into the final chicane. He is down the inside. As he outbreaks himself. Not quite. Switch to the offboard. Andrade is going to finish the lap ahead. Look at that. Look at that last corner drama. <clears throat> Lovely. I've forgotten whether, which way around it is. But Andrade finishes lap 15 ahead of Gutierrez. Here he comes. The winner is yes. The winner is yes. So who gets those tasty channel points? 5,200 going to Albone Natale, Albuita, and two others. Congratulations to you. The three people that guessed correctly and bet barely anything that Andrade would stay ahead. O ye of little faith. <coughs> Still waiting on nine more people to to follow or subscribe to our Twitch channel for me to eat beans on tomorrow's stream. Live on camera. On a webcam. I just heard a lock up there. No, okay, all in my head. Thank you the CJ Funk for following. We're down at eight. Eight to go. Can we make it happen, guys? I'm scared now. I'm starting to get scared. <laughs> Anyone want to take uh, lessons in betting from Alborita? Yeah, redacted, that doesn't count. 
That doesn't count. It comes under the prediction. No, five and a bit is not equal to a sub. I don't actually know. I don't know how it works around here, but I'm guessing. It does, it, mm. yeah. Anyway, Nesh on the back of Benjamin Garcia. Benjamin Garcia is having a pretty good race today. Looking strong. Will Andrade end lap 20 in front of Juan? 500 points currently saying no. And I'm guessing the 10 points has been posted by Alberita. Because he doesn't have any faith. Nesh is already going to try and move around, maybe around the outside of the spoon curve. This could be tasty. Very tasty indeed. Nesh makes the move stick around the outside of spoon. Lovely. Lovely job. And he's clearing off because uh, Nesh is pitted, and so is Garcia actually. I think. So I'll bring up. Uh, let's have a look how many people pit when people are pitted. Base was apparently stopped twice. I don't believe that. Uh, but I do know that Nesh has pitted. Uh, Feimster hasn't, neither has Andrade or Gutierrez. Nesh in for the second time. He was on the prime tyres, I think, so that's in an interesting tr strategy. Oh no, he pitted for op he was on option tyres. Okay. Fair enough. Most people are on primes now in the top half of the field. Uh, only Nesh, Lantern are on the options. That might be about to change. I'm expecting Nesh will pit now for a set of prime tyres. There goes Jens. At about the five seconds we've spent watching Jens now on this stream. And Nesh switches to the prime tyres. So he won't be stopping again. You would think. Active betting 2,000 points on Andrade staying in front. There's 3,000 for yes and 4,000 for no. On Andrade staying ahead. Let's switch to it now. Gutierrez is now in front of Andrade. Can Andrade get ahead by the end of lap 20? So let's have a look what proper leadership looks like. Here is... Let's have a look at Jens. Run on board with Jens, Jens for a couple of minutes to go for a, an audio something or other. Even better, let's go for the driver's eye view. Deals is stuck. Another, and that is another casualty. Deals is out. Quite possibly, at least. Mistakes will be punished. Deals is gone. We're down to 11 drivers. From the original 15 we had. We lost Beauty. For whatever reason at the start of the race. Before it, before it even started. We lost Costa. Because he spun too much. Andrade's gone ahead of, of Gutierrez, meanwhile. De Noya got beached at the exit of, uh, on the outside of turn 2. And as we just saw there... Deals is beached as well. He is out. So we're down to only 11 runners. Cano has gone off. He's gone wide. Way wide, in fact, at the spoon curve. He's back going again. He's going to take him in a nice, a nice comfortable 11th place in his first race in AF1. At the minute...
Only a couple of laps left to decide. Whoa, there's a spin there for Lantern. He's just luckily got out of the way just in time in the middle of, in the, middle of the spoon curve. Uh, he'll stay P10 because Cannon only just start, only just started his lap. But he is going to rejoin right next to Domingo. It's going to be all clear. Domingo's going to take out a nice P6 at this rate. The field is so spread out. I'm glad we have this battle between Andrade and Gutierrez because I don't think I don't know what I'd do for the next 20 laps if we had nothing going on. I'm glad we have this. Andrade has got back ahead of Gutierrez. Switch to the onboard. Gutierrez is going to try back. You can see the speed difference coming down towards turn one once again. <clears throat> you need something special to get ahead and stay ahead. Yeah, DOS is more OP than I thought it would be, actually, um, matches. Because I, I was expecting, yeah, there's only one DOS zone. We had three DOS zones for Bahrain, and that still, there wasn't, it wasn't guaranteed at Bahrain. But here it's like, if you, as long as you can, as long as you've got some balls around the outside, at, or around the inside at turn one, you're good. And even then, like, the slipstream's enough to get it into the final chicane without DOS. Skoda first podium. Uh, Gutierrez is a reserve, unfortunately, but it will technically count. As Crab, one of the most popular guys uh, in the AF1 community, and certainly on the streams. Let's just ride on ball for the rest of this lap. We're still on lap 19, I believe. So this is so yeah, this is lap. Sorry, this is lap 20 because Jens is just about to come around the final corner to start lap 21. So this is it. Can Andrade make another last corner dive to get those channel points for whoever voted for the word yes? He's looking close through 130R. He's going to have to go around the outside of the final chicane. He's going to try it. Stays on track. Is going to be enough? Is he had a good year? Is He is. It's going to be mighty close though. Andrade stays ahead at the end of that 20 channel points for yes. But Gutierrez is already on the back. He's got no DOS. <laughs> Jesus, that is OP. Bloody hell, Andrade is pulling away with DOS despite the, the slipstream from behind. You'd think they'd be staying together. Uh, but no, it's not a DOS violation because uh, Andrade was behind at the detection point, which was just before the final chicane. 7,000 points go to Redacted and three other people. Nice job. Nice job with the predictions, you guys. I guess it is maybe OP. Wasn't expecting it to be. Out of the box. I'm going to stick with this battle because there's, the, you know, the rest of the field is like 10 seconds, 8 seconds. You know, there's large gaps between everyone else except for this nice battle. I'm glad this is here. Walk up redeemed Sadlice Ifade Sofbet. I don't know what that is. I do not speak Turkish. And I probably just offended Ardo for saying it wrong. I, I, I don't know what it is. A sobet, a sobet. Oh, emo only emotes mode. Okay, that was the. Emotes, I guess. I don't, okay, I can't even. Emotes only. <laughs> Vasic's got ads. I could play an ad for you right now if I, want. I can get some... Ooh. Ooh. Since nothing's happening, should I bring an ad out and do that... Churn that... Um, both... Of, yeah, they're both into the pit stops. Now, and so... Pit, pit stop race! We have an ad that we haven't... We have, I don't think we've seen this for a while. A pit stop race. Gutierrez versus Andrade. Gutierrez is yet to pull in. Andrade's away. He's on the option tyres. So he's two stopping. Is that going to be the same for Gutierrez? Is he going to be on two stop as well? Please be that. Please be that so this battle can keep going. Gutierrez is going to come out on option tyres as well. He's going to be just behind Andrade. The battle will continue. Two stops for the both of them. They're going to come out in nice clean air. Fifth and sixth. Try not to spin, you guys.
But Andrade has got a lap car. It needs to move out of the way. That is Lantern in the Icky D car. You're free from the emotes only. Oh, there's a car facing backwards. It's Diego Domingo. He's dropped out of sixth. He spun a Degna 2. Yellow flag, Degna 2. Green flag. Just went to waste control mode just for a little bit there to get out of that. So this is now the battle for fourth and fifth on the road. Ads worse than BBC F1 coverage. That doesn't make any sense. BBC F1 coverage has no ads anyway. How how, how is having no F1 coverage with no ads better than ads? That makes no sense. Like, how is yeah, this field just did. Yeah, for Polybius, this this field just expanded faster than the universe. BBC used to cover F1, um, obviously for a while in the early days, until '96, and then from like '08, '09 to oh, or '09 to '11. Solely. Then Sky came in in about 2015-2016 and got switched over to Channel 4 from BBC. And because of that BBC period, you got Jonathan Ledyard. Yeesh. Oh, and there's a problem! Wait, that's just my commentary. Oh, crap. I am now Jonathan Ledyard. Whoa. Here we go again. Well, Andrade and lap 25 in front of one. 4,000 apiece for yes and no. Now 6,000 for yes, 4,000 for no. Finally, something to talk about during these races. <laughs> I'm glad for the predictions. This is not one of the most exciting AF1 races uh, we've ever had. So thank you to the 22 of you who have who are patiently, stay, patiently staying for this, because not going to lie, this is an important day still. It's an important day. Because uh, this could be, and probably will be, the day that Jens takes his first championship in a set of friends, and he's done it at the highest level of AF1. Yeah, Juan is on... Uh, sorry, uh, just reading back through the chat a little bit. Juan is on options. I'll give you an update on the, the uh, tyres now. Everybody's on primes, except for Andrade, Gutierrez and Lantern, who are all on the option tyres. Jens won the team championship in AF2. No, I won the team championship in AS2. Jens... Jens was... Jens. Jens was there for one race. Uh, it's, it's his... <laughs> It's his first actual championship in AF. In AF. It yeah, it does. To be fair, to us, to bet it, it takes a lot to win AF three. It really does, which is why I haven't won yet. They're all slipping. There's so much slipping all going all over the place. Come on, one. No, it's the fact that Jens didn't turn up for anything in AF2. I did. I won the team's championship single-handedly and would have still, even if Jens didn't turn up. Because I won by more than Jens' score. I'm like Hamilton and Bottas. Look at a move quickly behind. That's Nesh versus Garcia. Nesh has taken uh, P8. And Garcia, there he is. There's Garcia behind, and just in front of him, I believe, is one of the top two, I think. Yeah, it's Colin Backer. Oh, Backer goes wide at turn two. Don't bump him off! No, it's a championship fight! Don't do that! I gotta turn my mic down. This could get loud. I did just compare myself to Sir Lewis, although I would say I'm more like Jensen Button, who should be knighted as well. Andrade's got... <laughs> I can't believe I missed that. Andrade has got ahead of Gutierrez briefly as we start lap, as they start uh, lap 25. So at the end of this lap, Feimster just crashed. Did he just teleport to the pits? 
Was that a teleport? I think Farmston teleported to the pits. Yeah, I think he went wide at Degna 2, so he's just teleported to the pits. I was at uh, 18, 18, No, that was a minute ago. Okay, so it might be just, he just crashed into the, coming into the pits. Uh, but he's left the pits now, so he's still in this race. He rejoins P9. Oh! Huge moment for Gutierrez. Shaking that front end. There was a little bit of traffic coming up for these two. Uh, Lantern has spun coming into Dunlop. He's rejoined on the racing line. He's got Fimeser coming up just behind him. Uh, but the gap between these is a lap. The whole lap between these. Pretty much. Wait, the gaps are lying to me. Lantern just did just take P9 from Jake Fimeser. But Andrade... At the minute, Lantern spins off again at two at 180R. Must have switched to the off board. It looks like Andrade is going to finish this lap on top. This is going to be another last lap battle to find out. This is the end of lap 25. This is the end of lap 25 for these two. Oh, good. He has had a half spin, so Andrade is going to finish in front again. It's the win for yes in the next, in this prediction. That is the end of lap 25. I can confirm that. More points. 12,800 points go to seven people, including Ben Hayes is the top name, the only name that I come up here. I get one name and then, and these, this many others. So seven drive, seven people uh, will be sharing 12,800 points. Canna gets out of the way nicely. I'm trying to go too wide there. Uh, Gutierrez has dropped off the back, so this might be the end of all the battling in this race. But we still have Lantern versus Fimes. The Fimes has got some real speed on him normally. Uh, I guess today, well, Suzuki's a tough track, but, yeah. Matthias, you know Gift is Danny, right? Gift is Danny Wick. I swear to God, if this next prediction is, will Andrade finish lap 30 on to uh, ahead of Gutierrez? I've got a question... How much you're actually thinking about this? I mean, you're not the one gambling. You're not the one gambling, Danny. You're the casino owner. <laughs> Which makes it healthy. Oh no, where's the battle gone? Okay, F F Lantern went off again, so he's now 8.7. So we've got nothing left. <sighs> nothing left to watch. We've still got 13 laps left. Uh, I could just bring you an ad and hope... I could just bring you an ad and just go VSE and just bring everyone together so we can get the next 10 laps of excellence. Of excellent racing, but... Cano is into the pits for the second time. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to just show replays of Cadega. It was beautiful racing. It really was, but I'm not going to show that because that's not fair. Because we've got to show. We, we, we'll be posting this on YouTube after the stream. Uh, so do, do. I say do. Watch the watch our other races on YouTube, especially, particularly AF3 Cadega. If you haven't watched it, you must. You've got to watch that. If there's, if there's one stream you watch uh, of ours, watch AF3 Cadega from last week. Uh, or Vancouver. Vancouver could be fun as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you want nice clean racing like this. But even more exciting. This is so exciting, I know. It's even more exciting racing in some in our other leagues as, I've, as we've shown over the last three weeks in AF3 and AF4 in particular. Um, come join us. Come join us on Discord. If you want to join these races, come join us with this call, even if you want to just hang out and just chat about racing. Join us on a set of friends. I believe it's exclamation mark discord. 
but I'll tell you it is discord.io slash Assetto Friends. You can, join, you can subscribe to us on YouTube, so we'll let you know when the replays of our streams and replays of, of all our races uh, go up on there, so you can watch them back. Uh, you can also... We also get sometimes we also get teasers of our new leagues on there as well when we feel like it and when we have the time to do all that. Uh, and of course, follow us on Twitch and subscribe to us on Twitch. Because if you do that, then we're one step closer to seeing me on a webcam eating beans. It's an inside joke. You'll get it if you join on Discord. I do want. Uh, to, uh, let's, ask, let's ask a question. What is the best league in AF? We've got AF1 in these. We've got AF2. Uh, we'll go for a last season of AF2 with the Endurance, with the LMP1s and the GTEs. We've got AF3 in the Audi TTs, or AF4 in the Tatus, the Rookie League. Or, of course, AF Asia in the Honda Civic. What's the best league? Okay, great. Two fours, two, th uh, two twos, two threes, and a four. Sorry, three fours, three twos. Ah! A three is fun to play. Oh boy. It's still, a, it's still a real league. You know, you gotta behave in it still. Right, Vasic. Here comes another prediction. I wonder what the prediction will be. Will it be Will Andrade end lap 30 ahead? Will what? God damn it. Will Juan end lap 35 in front of Andrade? AF3 is absolutely the most competitive. We've had so many different winners. LMP1 in AF2 comes close second. We've had last season we had six different winners from six races in LMP1. Too bad GTE was won by six the same six the same driver all six races, but still. Two complete polar opposites. I'll have a look. AF AF3. Um, here we go. I know by oh, I forgot to release the results. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, in fact, we have at least seven different winners in AF3 this season, maybe even eight. 5,000 say no, 20, 130, 140 say yes. Uh, to one being ahead of Andrade at the end of lap 35. Lantern into the pits once again. Gap is 1.3, so it's going to be Andrade that stays ahead for now because no DRS. But only one mistake is all. It, one mistake is all it takes, like that one. Hmm, that's good timing. It's almost like Gutierrez. It's almost like Juan is listening to me. Whoa! Nearly took out the nearly crashed into the pit lane attenuator coming into the pit lane. He slows down. We could see an undercut coming on here because he's only done eight laps on these option tyres. He's got to do another ten on the on his final stint. But Andrade will probably be doing a 9-9 split. So, here comes an undercut battle. He almost... He about put... Uh, Hamilton Shanghai redacted. I thought you I thought you said Heidfeld Beijing. That was big. I read about that. I read about that again the other day. That was quite. A, that was quite a race. The last corner. Before that, don't really care. The general consensus seems to be no. Andrade will pass Gutierrez. If I remember which way round they were. Yeah, the general consensus says no. Andrade 
will move. It, it, no, Andrade will be ahead of Juan at the end of lap 35. And redacted up there with the unpopular opinion again. I'm going to just go ahead and delete that message. If I can. Can we have that message deleted? Okay. Fair enough. So, is Andrade going to pit this lap? He's done, he's done now nine laps on the options. He is going to pull in. Here comes the, here comes the undercut battle. Andrade into the pits now. I'll leave it on this camera because Gutierrez is going to come around 130R in a minute. He's coming through now. Okay, maybe not an unpopular opinion, but still a one that could get us banned. Rubber 9 into the pits. He's going to come out staying P3. Andrade's already moving, but he's got longer down the pit lane to go than Gutierrez has. Here comes Gutierrez. He's coming down the front straight. Andrade out the pit lane. Here comes Gutierrez. Andrade's going to stay ahead for now, but this battle... <laughs> excellent undercut from Andrade. Beautifully done. With an excellently... Um, with a perfectly executed... It out, in lap. So Andrade moves ahead. Now, it's not the fact that uh, Shanghai and Beijing are in, the, are in China that's the, that's the unpopular part, or even the would get us banned part. Hint! The battle continues. We went away again. And again, in fact, that's a, that's a pretty strong undercut to gain two seconds, maybe, even, maybe two and a half, from a simple one lap undercut. I should, also put, I, should, I should also add to the uh, standings that the extra point that Jens will get for fastest lap, so 185 to 152 at the top of the table, which would mean Jens would take home the AF1 title today at Suzuka. He's only got eight and a half laps left and a 20 second lead to Colin Backer. The battle of the fourth, however, is far from over. They're just starting lap 32. Nah, nah, nah Andrade should wait on scenario seven. What will wear out before the end of the... Whoa, half speed for Gutierrez! Stays in the right direction. Yeah, both top, both drivers are on option tyres now. A little, a little moment for Gutierrez having a bit of a code brown moment. That was a little moment there for Andrade, a little wobble and a little wide at spoon two. Down the back straight we go. Slipstream is super powerful. Always oh, had to ease off to make sure he didn't make a move. You can hear it in the engine note there. Didn't make to make sure he didn't make a move. He's still easing off. He's gonna try and do it on the DRS. Garcia into the pits from P8. Might even come out. No, he's just coming into the box, so he's gonna stay uh, behind these two. Gutierrez takes P4 once again. But this is on the start of lap 33. Start of lap 33 for them now. 
So there's still a, a couple of opportunities for Ruben Andrade to retake that position. Uh, Cano has stopped on the exit of Degner 2. He's got Rubber coming up to him. Let's make sure they're out of the way. Rubber is out of the way. Next will be Gutierrez and Andrade, but Cano's gonna get Cano is gonna get going in enough time. You know what I really want right now? Food, food wise. Don't say beans. I want a cherry bakewell. I want a cherry bake. God's sake. <laughs> I want a cherry bakewell. I was looking at some on Christmas Day, and I really wanted to eat one. But they were my mum's gluten free ones, so I couldn't have them. Where my nest into the pits from P7 should come out in P8, it, but it stay out in P7 because uh, Garcia is just behind. He hasn't even come through 130R yet. Andrade was maybe looking at a move there. He's going to back out of it, but Gutierrez has had another moment coming through the final chicane. Here comes Andrade again, round the outside as they start lap 34. Two laps to decide the prediction for the next one. Lap 35, turn 6, one will flop, is the prediction from Jester BT. That's anti-banked curve. And I can see where he's coming from with that one, because he's gone wrong there. He went wrong there in the last lap. And I'll ride on, on, board, on board with Gutierrez as he goes through turn 6 now. One lap early. One lap early. You're almost there, Chester. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. You got the corner right. You just got lap 1 out. Technically says lap 35 there, but... Not going to count it. Well, that's the last battle. That's the last battle. There's nothing left to look at. Well played, Jester. Well played. Can you predict something else going wrong, please? Please, so I've got something to talk about. Inside man, who could that inside man be? Hmm. Which admin is being naughty? Is it me? It's normally me. Jens will have a puncture on lap 39 and have to finish on three tyres. I don't see that happening. Any other unlikely predictions? Any other just predictions in general? Let's see, let's see, let's see your predictions. For the last... Uh, for the last five laps of this race. Cano went off. Ooh, Cano, don't get beached, don't get beached. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Come on. Come on, Cano. Yeah, he's good. He's good. It'd be a shame if he ended up having to retire with so little left in the race. Because P11 is is a good way to start your AF1 journey. Six subs away from a third, uh, third of mode. Let's get those six subs. Come on. Let's get those six subs. We're still waiting on eight more people to either follow or subscribe on Twitch. So I will end up eating beans tomorrow on stream. I redacted that doesn't count. I know you followed it this morning. I know you followed and subscribed this morning. It doesn't count. Nice try. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Jester. That one will count. Jester. There we go. We're down to seven. More than three spins from SVE. How can you... You can sub... You no, don't. I know I say I don't know a lot about Twitch, but surely you you have to be following to subscribe to them. 
Right? Right? All right, fine. Six to go. Prediction result is no. Andrade stayed ahead of Gutierrez. So 13,000. We're getting higher and higher with these numbers. 13,000 go to Ben Hayes and seven other people. I'm not trying to get away from it. You st I still won't get six follows. Still won't get six follows in the next, what, 20 minutes? I don't know why we're still following on board with, with Cano. Feimster is trying to chase down Lantern for P9. And that, Danny, is why you don't bet. But, but, what you could do is keep forcing other people to bet. Because it's fun, and it gives me something to talk about. <laughs> uh, a three, <clears throat> Domingo's crashed. I thought for a second he was facing the wrong way. He was going to be driving the wrong way. No. Domingo rejoins still P6. He's got a minute and 16 behind him, but P6 is probably where he's going to stay now. Yes. Gamble responsibly. Redacted's checked out pretty nicely. I mean, Domingo, Diego's not going to lose any, point, any points. He's not going to lose any positions. He stays P6. And I hope he's not hearing this, but he could cut every single corner right now and still stay in P6 because he's a minute and 15 ahead of Roman Nesh. He just won't be able to take, he just won't be able to get past Gutierrez at all. My left screen died for a second. Lantern has had a spin. He's gone off at Degna 2 again. Fimes takes P9. Yeah, goes into the pits. He's, he's able to do it. He's on the prime, so maybe switch to a new set of options and go for the fastest lap point. This is going to be good. Um, I will say then the fastest lap is currently, obviously, Jens with a 146.372. Thank you for the 89 bits redacted. Who says the Ministry of Gaming is reminding you to always gamble responsibly and have a designated better? Is that a good idea to have a designated better? If you don't trust them, they just spend all your money. Anywho. One thing that does surprise me, Roman Nesh. His best lap is actually third fastest. 146.567. He's actually a thousandth slower than Colin Backer. On a, uh, he's on a 46.566. So the fastest lap challenge is on for Diego Domingo. Everybody's behaved themselves. Only only three illegal DRS uses. Maybe four. Uh, there's one for Deals, one for Roman Nesh, and one for Jack Lantern. Uh, none of those will have any bearing on the final times. All the gaps. Uh, I believe all, every single gap is above 10 seconds now, apart from the gap between 4th and 5th, which is 8.7. It's painful. Thank you to the 23 of you who are sticking with us. Um, I will mention that Jens won the most boring race. It is the easiest race for him. But that doesn't take away the fact that he absolutely deserves this championship. He doesn't deserve AF2 teams, because that was all me, but he deserves this AF1 drivers and the AF1 teams as well. Uh, Colin deserves the AF2, AF1 teams as well. They really do. They, bo they both do. Uh, Domingo is now starting his his uh, fastest lap attempt. Is this prediction going to be fastest lap for Domingo? Will Jens do donuts? Ooh, that's an, that is an interesting one. Will Jens do donuts at the end of the race? I am almost certain he will, but I can't sway. I can't swing. I can't sway the boat. I can't be biased. 
How quickly is that going to go up? I mean, if this looks just, this just looks unanimous. 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 6,000. Great. 10, 10 channel points to say no. So, okay. No, 1,000. That's an interesting bet. That's a risky bet to put. Oh, to put. It could be worth quite a lot. Cano's gone off. Hopefully he keeps it going because he'll need to cross the line to get the points for 11th place. He's at 180R. He's all clear now. But we're going to keep riding on board with Diego Domingo. I wish I could tell you how how his lap is going. But I can't. I can tell you he's on a 118 at the minute. He's done 118 through the lap. But that's absolute, That's nothing. That's nothingness. Domingo will only have one final attempt because Jens is coming around the final couple of corners to start the final lap. <laughs> I am not going to sway this vote because it is an interesting it is an interesting prediction to make. You can tell Domingo's in quality mode. He's gone cautious through the final chicane to try and get a good run. I will tell you now what this lap will be as he comes over the line. Domingo currently on 47.6, his best lap. He did a 48.1 that lap. He's got to push with everything he's got to get that fastest lap point. Come on, Diego. What is my favourite thing to drink while eating my baked beans on plain toast? Um, milk. Milk. Green milk. Like, uh, well, so, sorry, semi-skimmed milk. We call it green milk in the UK. It's semi-skimmed. While Jens is going round this lap, his lap of honour, um, a shout out to our sponsor, Zap Hosting, for hosting our servers. They're doing a wonderful job. We love, we, we love their servers. They work so well, so much better than the ones we used to have. Um, there's a code. It's. Seto Friends A 3772 capital A capital F uh, to get 20% off of servers. Um, if you go to zap hosting.com slash Seto Friends, you can that, that's our affiliate link. Please click on that and buy servers so we can keep ours. Round to the final chicane for the final time as he messes up and goes wide to the final chicane. Jens Batesmer is going to come round the final corner. He's weaving. That doesn't count as donuts. He wins the Japanese Grand Prix and he wins the AF4, AF1 Season 4 driver's title. He's done the double. Lowy has been defeated. I mean, he would do if he didn't turn up. He would be anyway if he didn't turn up for five races. But Jens has won the driver's title. Diego Domingo improved to a 46.999, but it's six tenths off still. So at the minute, Jens will maintain his. There's the donuts. Oh! <laughs> it's a half donut. It doesn't count yet. It's still only a half donut. It doesn't count yet. There it is. There's the donuts. Yes, is the winner. That's 2C and J. Racing cars there. The champions of AF1 in season four. Rubber nine takes home his first podium. Congratulations to him. Andrade is going to finish fourth. Gutierrez is going to finish an excellent fifth. Domingo's already finished sixth. Nash seventh. Race Sim Studio. Nash seventh, as I said. Benjamin Garcia will finish eighth. Fimes to ninth, Lantern 10th, and Cano in his first race comes home last, but it is 11th place and a nice five point haul. Colin Backer, there, the teammate. And that's it. Everyone's over the line. Next week is the finale. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain, at least at the top of the table. That championship will remain as it is. 185 for Jens Batesman, 152 for Colin Backer, 
137 for Andrea De Noia, 127 for Lowy, and 124 for Dirty. Next week, yes, is the finale. There's Diego. Next week is the AF1 Season 4 Season Finale. We will also, hopefully, we can reveal AF1 Season 5 next week after the race and we might reveal it during the race if it's boring. I doubt it though, it's Montreal. We're going to Montreal. It's just, just playing around some of the last drivers there. Is he stuck? He's stuck, yeah. Can I get inside the rim? Look at that. And if he breaks... Oh, it didn't break. That's the way to end the stream. That's the way to end that. I'm never going to be able to leave now. I'm never going to be able to leave because of the bloody cursor. Just... I want to press the button to leave. I got it. I got the button. Thank God for that. <sighs> Auto start system can be a bit of a bastard sometimes. Right. I think we need to bring in the champion. So let's move myself over to streaming. Unmute myself. And let's bring in the champion. Will Wan swear on interview? Okay, now I need to bring in Wan. Okay. Let's bring in Jens. Jens Batesma, AF1 Season 4 champion. I got stolen once again. You got what? Like, what again? Stolen. You got stolen? What happened? I was I was talking with Colin and you stole oh, me. Wait, sorry, I interrupted a conversation. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, I, had, I had to I had to bring you in for this. I had to bring you in. Um, All right. Not the most exciting race in the world, but a, a, a nice easy race from your perspective. Um, was there any doubt? Yeah, was there, there was. Doubt? Well, like first stint, Colin was kind of. Um, I was trying to not push to like conserve my tires and not make mistakes, which is very uh, important on this track because it's very easy to make a mistake. Um, but with me just not pushing to the limit, uh, Colin was kind of closing in, so I had to push the first stint. Well, uh, pretty much. But second stint, yeah, it was. I think Colin got fucked with the pits, pits up or so. He was. 10 seconds back when I came back uh, from my pit stop and from then on it was little cruise, 3 laps it was boring but yeah I was I, to honest, I was expecting more from Suzuka but hopefully Montreal will bring out something uh, a bit more exciting yeah I mean nothing to lose, for anyone, nothing to lose for anyone now hopefully Lowe will come as well yeah we got to see Lowe as well uh, I don't because I don't think he won last we went to Montreal last season, and he didn't win that one. I don't think. I, don't think. I think dirty. Mm, and dirty was I think, it. I think dirty yeah. last week, last year. So yeah. not, maybe not Lowy's best tracks. So this could be interesting. Could be a really good race. There yeah, well, are like um, with this, like the the win on Austria I had at the beginning of the season when I literally beat Lowy on track. That felt a lot better than this because I really know that Lowy is faster than me, and he would have had the champion if he. Um, if he traced, but he hasn't. Still a thoroughly Still. deserved title. Well and truly. Because you, yeah. <laughs> it, you know it's possible to beat Lowy. You've done it once this season. This is your fourth win of the season. And, you know, it hasn't just been yeah, you and Lowy at the top, of the, uh, at the top of the standings this year. There's been six, six of you at some times. <laughs> Yeah, well, I only beat uh, Loey once on track. The rest, I just won with him not being um, present. So, yeah. Still, still, I hope, still I hope he comes time. back because I uh, I want a uh, benchmark. <laughs> yeah, you need some sort of benchmark to beat him on track properly uh, I, in season five. I, I I want I want to to beat him. Not like now, it's not beating him. 
So yeah. I mean, he's the, he's the true alien that, need, that needs to be beaten. The, you know, he's got two exactly. a, he's got at least yeah, two AF one titles. Yeah. And to be fair, next season is going to be a very interesting car. Obviously, you know the car. I know the car. They don't. So don't say what the car is. But next car, next hey, year's car is going to be oh, really yeah. interesting. Interesting, yeah. I say that, I know you're not happy with it. So. <laughs> <laughs> interesting if uh, Louis and I will join. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if Louis and Vince go, Lowe... it's just open, open season for the title. If, 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 Lowe, if Lowe comes, then I'll come as well. So you better uh, buy him off so he comes. We better make a good calendar and we better make, a good, make the car as the best we can. I think we've got a good calendar. I think we've got a good the ones that we've come up with. Yet, we'll get to some testing from here on. Yeah. yeah I, I, actually, we, I, are you going to stay for testing afterwards? Uh, ben wants to do some uh, testing. I'm going to grab, gonna grab some food, but after that I'll come back, sure. Okay. Uh, well, back to, back to normal stream professional mode. Thank you for joining us, yes. <laughs> no problem. I'll see you Quote I'm next making my week. conversation. Yeah, see ya. Might uh, spice up a little and start from the back. Ooh, that could be good. That could be good. That could be good. Uh, bye. I'll remember that. I'll hold you to that. Uh, right, let's bring in. Uh, let's bring in second place man Colin Backer. Just for a quick one. Hello, Colin. I probably dragged you away from Jens. Kind of Jens um, was interrupted. Uh, doesn't matter. Um, congratulations on second today. Yeah, thanks. Um, obviously, it's now confirmed that Jens is. Th oh, <laughs> he just fuck it off again. <laughs> Jens, Jens dragged him back. <laughs> Rude. Oh, I'm actually going to get connected now. It's not going to let me connect. That was rude. <laughs> I finally got back to the conversation with him. I know you dragged him away. Oh, I just got dragged away. Let's tell let's bring Juan in instead. Let's bring Juan in. Hello, Juan. Hello. I'll talk to you instead. Um Good race today. It was an I think the battle with Andrade was probably the only thing we were watching throughout that race. There were constant predictions going on on the stream to see <laughs> who would be ahead at this lap. Um What was that battle like well, for you? It was amazing. It was amazing. At uh, the start of the race, I was unsure if the primes were a strategy. Turns out they were really for me, because at least I enjoyed to, you know, battle it with Andrade at least. And uh, at the f after the first BSC, I couldn't see the message of go of green flag because I got warnings. But wow, feeling mm. so well after that battle. So so good. I mean, that battle spanned for like 30 laps until you made a mistake. What, yeah. what were you thinking when you made that mistake? The problem is that it wasn't an a natural mistake. It was that the, my pedals tend to bag out. So oh. you'll see on the replays, for example, that my pedal might be pressing the brake of the throttle Just way too low, call. way too much. It was like, fuck, damn. Ding, 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 do... we have a winner! He's, oh, he swore. God. <laughs> yeah. There was what? a prediction going, going on, on to see whether you swore on the, on the, on the oh. interview. Oh. Answer is yes. <laughs> 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 That's what I've been having fun with doing on this. It's quite a boring race than your battle, so I've just been, we've just been putting predictions up. Uh, so 3,300 points go to Matthias Vasic and five other people. Yep. And 3,000 points one... were predicted for yes, 750 for no. Well, that, was it that boring? Apart from your battle, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, hopefully I, I gave you a good battle. Yeah, it was great to watch. It was really great to watch. Even with the undercuts as well, that was perfect. Exactly yeah. what I needed to see. Yeah, and also the problem was that on the options, my setup tended to oversteer on the first corner, so I took it really, really slow. Compare, for example, to uh, Andrade, uh, you could see me sometimes on the straight that would lift off 
behind him sometimes and just wait for him to make a mistake sometimes. Maybe he went wide sometimes and then, you know, that happened. Yeah, I was just I think it was just a race of who makes the fewest mistakes in a way. Yeah. Uh, but still the, the overtakes were spicy. You could see I see you a few times just you you could the, there was strategy coming into it. Uh, yeah. towards the end you saw okay I'll, I'll ease off through 130R I won't make that move into the chicane because I know I'll get the the DRS and the DRS, the DRS is really OP today going down towards yeah. turn 1 yeah and sometimes when I got a bad run of, uh, out of spoon I realised oh well, okay I, I could just lift off let him buy if I'm within one second I don't you care just, because just I get will back up to him yeah. anyways yeah um my god just up until that mistake, it was amazing. Just amazing. Ah, oh, fuck. There's always next week. And you still took yeah. home an excellent P5. Yeah, still. Really that's my result. best result. My first ever top 10. My first ever top 5. In, in AF1. <laughs> <laughs> being, being a reserve. Not being in a team like I was in poor energy racing. No, being as a reserve. Okay. That. I guess I'm better as a reserve then. Well, are you going to come back next week? Yeah, sure. To Montreal? Yeah? Yeah. It's supposed to be great to have a long time for street for commentary for uh, <laughs> Montreal. Maybe, yeah. It's a nice, fun track to race. So, yeah, do that instead. Yeah. Race, race it next week. Yeah, thank you. Uh, right, I'll send you back now. We might want to bug off entirely because she's calling an, a, a deafened rubber. So. Bye, Juan! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you next week, in quotes. Yeah. See ya. See ya. Oh, wow. Fuck. Q's, I was going to say, proceeds to not leave. Now he's left. Um, that will do us for today. For a... What was it? There, was, there were good parts this race, of course. There's good parts of every race. Um, but hopefully next week's finale at Montreal will be far more exciting because we're going to a street circuit, kind of. Sort of a half street circuit. Uh, in any case, tomorrow we didn't we didn't get the the ten followers, uh, so I will, will not be eating beans live on camera. <laughs> yes, I'll save that for another day. Um, but tomorrow, two p.m. for the. Oh, excuse me. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. GMT for the stewards meeting. We have a look at all the best crashes and all the best incidents from AF Asia and AF One. Um, you won't get to hear any of the, the top secret. Oh, we're going to drive a lawnmower for next season of AF One. Nothing like that. But you'll see all the best crashes, and you'll get to hear us uh, debate about your own mistakes. So that's always fun. People never get offended by that. Um, it was what most. Po it was we ended up being the uh, most popular Twitch stream for Assetto Corsa, in that time slot last week. So, can we please have that again? That would be amazing to have that. Uh, but until I gotta try and end this on exactly two hours. So, <laughs> until tomorrow, uh, goodbye. We've also got AF One back next week, as I said for the season finale. That's Sunday, next Sunday, um, at five PM GMT. We've also got AF3, uh, that's not back until the 8th, so pfft, forget about that. AF4 is returns for Oschersleben on the 2nd of January at 4pm, that's on a sat Saturday. But until tomorrow for, for the stewards meeting, uh, it's goodbye from me. I'm going to go eat some beans.